Hey, Tactical Painter, back out in the Suits Crafting Word Shop. Welcome out to STT Episode 3. So, today we're out in the shop. Just going to be a real quick update for the Shop Talk Tuesday. Just got a couple of things that we want to talk to you about. So, this will be a pretty quick, short video. Uh, we survived Snowpocalypse 2019. So happy to <laughs> announce that. They were uh, hilarious when they were talking about how much snow we were going to get out here in the Pacific Northwest. And, uh... Typically, the snow that we get is really wet. You can actually like put it, you know, into a ball and then like wring it out like a rag, like just a whole bunch of water drips out of it. And instead, we got like a Colorado's type snow. It was real dry and powdery and fluffy, and uh, it was not nearly as bad as as they thought it was going to be. Usually, when we get snow, we get you know a lot of it, and the ice is over, and it's real bad. And we definitely get it, you know, in the city. And this time, it was like we got a half inch, like a dusting in the city. But then everything east of like I two hundred five, we got like four inches, and so that's what where I'm at, you know, east I two hundred five. So we got actually quite a few inches of it here. Some of the side streets were really dicey, but uh, we made it out okay. If you can hear it now. raining out which you know we're a lot more accustomed to and it's melting off all that snow getting rid of all of it and it's uh there's almost no evidence of it outside now i got uh to turning some this week so i've got uh three things that i was working on this week number one being i tested up my first aurora pen so the first aurora pen came out and you know i i like how it looks it's not a bad look um, this was uh, one that I did a dump pour in, so it's, uh, it's black with flash white and then green and blue interference powders dumped together. Those are mixed in and then I did a dump of that into the black, kind of stirred it real quick and then dumped all that together uh, into the molds. And you know, it doesn't look terrible. It looks pretty nice actually, the green and blue in there. And uh, But it's not the look I'm going for. It's not the big bold ribbons and things that are cutting through which is what I kind of predicted was that these were going to be they're going to be kind of thin they're going to you know it's not going to be bold like the Aurora Borealis is you know it's a real flashy beautiful light show that occurs naturally up there in the northern sky. I already drilled up my second test so this is one is going to be my second test um, this is test number two this is not stirred uh, so it's just straight the black and flash white with the blue and gold or blue and green mixed together and then a ribbon and then black over top and then a ribbon and so I manually poured in those layers and so I think that this is going to give us the best results so I'm going to do one of these I'm going to do one with them stirred where I take a uh, barbecue skewer afterward and I stir in some manual lines to get my horizontal lines but by far I think this is going to give me the widest most bold ribbons going through that that black and flash powder so I've got one of those it's already drilled and I'm going to true it up today and I'll get it turned up today and see how it turns out um, if I get a chance later maybe I'll, I'll throw that in this video um, but I've got a lot of appointments and I got called into work so probably not going to get a chance to throw that onto this video before I got to upload it. Update on the G2 click pens. So G2 click pens I got a chance to work on those this week and uh, it like I kind of had a feeling you know I, I didn't want to talk about it too soon give you guys too much information because it's not working out so well just yet so um, I didn't didn't want you guys to be like go out and buy stuff and dive into it and then have it not work. So uh, I'm gonna be testing out a few things. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it to function. See if I can get it to work. The problem with it so far, at, at least I, I think in my head, got them cut to length. I cut my own tubes, glued those in, trued those up, turned them out, and then I assembled the pen. And there, there wasn't enough length, I think, for the click mechanism to function. So I, I could kind of tell, like, if I, if I pulled, you know, the, the bottom section out a little bit, that I could get the pen to click. But if I fully assembled it all the way in, then it wouldn't click. So I'm kind of thinking that I just need to extend my length just slightly on the, the barrel tube um, that I'm, I'm custom cutting. And I, I think that'll be it. It only needed just like 
two, maybe a, a fifteen hundredths of an inch added, so you know, a tenth and a half of an inch. And uh, I, I think that was about how much I needed. I mean, it, was, it, was, it wasn't much. It was just a sliver. Um, but then I have to make another decision. If I do that, then the, the ink won't extend fully out of the bottom um, like, you know, you're normally used to seeing. So I'll have to kind of decide, like, aesthetically, is that okay? One of the things I got done this week as well, we got Valentine's Day coming up. You know, it's just a couple of days away. And so I got a Valentine's Day pen done for a customer. I got that hand delivered to her yesterday, and so she's going to be giving that to uh, her boyfriend. He's a big fisherman, and uh, he he has some uh, visual stuff. He, he can only see shades of red. So he, he sees a lots of gray tones and things, but reds his eyes can perceive. And so we did a red fishing pen, fly fishing pen for him. We got that finished up yesterday and then I uh, delivered it to her. It was a local customer and so got that to her. She was real happy with it. She really liked how it turned out and it turned out pretty spectacularly. You guys can look forward to that video coming out here in the future as well. And I'm going to be turning out a pen for a soldier. I've got a soldier based out of Hawaii that actually ordered a Hawaiian Springs rollerball pen. So we're going to be doing up this week a Coco Bolo rollerball pen. So a beautiful piece of Coco Bolo that we've got ready to go for this customer. And so I've got it all trued up. going to be turning that hopefully later today if I get an opportunity. Um, kids got a couple of doctor's appointments. you got to take them to kids, right? <laughs> Um, I'm going to take them a couple of doctor's appointments and then uh, I'll get some time in the shop before I got to go report into work because I got a guy that called out sick. But life happens, you know, and so we just roll with the punches. Really excited about that one. It was really cool. I've been talking with him back and forth. He sent me some pictures of himself and his full battle rattle. And uh, really, really excited to do this pen up for him. So uh, here's a big shout out to you, Tango Mike. This week's video, I'm going to be putting out a two-part video. It's going to be on Thursday. I'm going to be doing my normal 90-second uh, casting video. So it's just going to be you know, a minute and a half of just the casting and then uh, the processes that I, I do in order to get that cast up. And then I'll you know, I'll show the block and show how it turned up. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be putting out the video on actually turning the uh, off-center jewelry box. So the off-center jewelry box, you know, I've already shown you guys on Shop Talk Tuesday a couple weeks ago, and I'll, I'll throw a photo in here. So now I'm going to be actually putting out the casting video on Thursday, and then on Sunday I'll put out the video of actually doing the uh, the off-center jewelry box. You guys can look forward to that coming out here real soon. Been doing some general organization out here in the shop. Uh, on my back shelf over here, I had a whole bunch of boxes of just fasteners and all sorts of screws and nails and different boxes of things. And uh, I got a little little um, caddy. It's an organized tote that has this little pull-out. Uh, I'll just go grab it here. So I got one of these. They're by Ketter. It's a cantilever organizer, 22-inch. And this thing is sweet. Love the heck out of this thing. Super excited. I've only got just a, a small smattering of, of some of the fasteners that I've got put into here, but when we're working on these, I love this this feature right here. They've got these pull-out trays, so you just grab those trays, you can pull them out, so you can grab whatever fasteners you need. So right here, I've just got like some little tiny finishing nails, and then I've got you know an assortment of different um, self-tapping screws and different things, and then this is one of my favorite features right here. It's got this cantilever portion where it actually moves up and out of the way and then I took all of my drywall screws my wood screws and different things and I've got them organized in here what I love about this is that you can organize this however you want I started going across you know with my uh, drywall screws then I got to my wood screws and I'm going up with and I think I'm going to reorganize them and put them you know going upward and in size but right now I just wanted to get the boxes dumped out and the heck out of my way so I have a little bit more room up here on my shelves. Well, like I said, that's going to be a quick video for the Shop Talk Tuesday this week. Just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates, a couple of announcements. Be sure to check for my videos coming out Thursday and Sunday this week. And uh, I will catch you guys later. This is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out.